For our next example, we're going to look at how to convert the equation of the unit circle to polar coordinates. So I'll say that generally when we're trying to go from rectangular to polar, we like to get this in terms of something like a function where we get r written as a function of theta, but this isn't going to quite happen in this case for reasons that we'll be able to see as we're going. So here, if we have 1 equals x squared plus y squared, well, there's a, there's a short way to get to our answer, but I'll go through the long way as well. But to be fair, x squared plus y squared equals r squared, which means we have the equation r equals 1, which should make sense because it's the unit circle. It's the set of points of, radi of radial distance from the origin, 1. So r equals 1. Should be reasonable. Alternatively, if we want to take the long way, we could say that x is equal to r... Oh, excuse me, x is equal... I was right the first time. x is equal to r cosine theta, while y is equal to r sine theta, and we're squaring both of them. So we square those out, we get r squared cosine squared of theta plus r squared sine squared of theta. We can factor out an r squared, get cosine squared of theta plus sine squared of theta, or r squared times 1, which is r squared, which means that for different reasons, the sort of reasons we'll use more often here, we get the polar equation 1 equals r. And to appreciate this process a little bit more, we'll take one more quick example here with something that has, um, well, a bit less of an obvious shortcut. So for our second example, we want to convert 3x minus y equals 4 into a polar equation with r in terms of theta. So we have 3x minus y equals 4. Well, we'll just put this in terms of r cosine and r sine, like we did with the long version of that other one. We'll have 3 times r cosine of theta minus r sine of theta equals 4. Then we're going to factor out an r. We'll get r times 3 cosine of theta minus sine of theta equals 4. And then we will have for our final answer, r is equal to 4 over 3 cosine theta minus sine of theta. Where thinking about what 3x minus y equals 4 is, it should be not too hard to tell that that is a line of slope 3 with intercept at 4, I believe it would be. So because that's a nice linear function, has a very natural representation in terms of rectangular and then a not so natural representation in terms of polar. Whereas in our first example, we had the unit circle that was kind of clunky to look at in rectangular, but very easy in polar, which hints at those relationships that for certain things like lines, rectangular is great because rectangular is built in terms of lines. Whereas for things like circles, because polar is built around rotation, it's a little bit cleaner. But this is one direction. Now for what we'll finish this with, we're going to look at going in the opposite direction.